My name is Kara Zwiebel. I'm director of the Fundamental Freedoms Program at the Canadian Civil Liberties Association. So CCLA is taking the Ontario government to court, but we're not actually suing them. What we're doing is asking the court to judicially review the government's decision to revert to the 1998 sex ed curriculum. And we think it's a civil rights issue because the 1998 curriculum does not reflect the lives and experiences of a number of students um, who identify as L LGBTQ. Um, it removes content related to consent that is essential for the health and safety of students. And uh, the government's decision to roll back that curriculum um, was made without consideration for those rights uh, and equality issues. The grounds for our challenge are, first of all, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms and the idea that when the government makes a decision, they have to balance uh, those rights and freedoms against any competing um, issues or objectives that they're trying to achieve. We say that the minister's decision here didn't appropriately balance those things. The challenge is also based on the Human Rights Code, which uh, protects against discrimination on a number of grounds. And we say that the change to the 98 curriculum um, and the minister's decision violates those, those grounds. And, um, and finally, there's provisions in the Education Act of Ontario that requires boards to create uh, an inclusive and positive environment for students. Uh, and we say that um, the, the rollback of the curriculum makes it difficult, if not impossible, for boards to, um, to fulfill that requirement. The end goal is to have the court uh, make an order that the minister has to direct school boards to use the 2015 uh, health and physical education curriculum, the 2015 sex ed curriculum, until the government has completed whatever process it intends to engage in to, um, to develop a new curriculum and until it's developed a new curriculum and put, it, put that in place. So we're waiting for the provincial government to, to respond, to send their record and their evidence that they'll be relying on. And, um, and after that, we consider whether cross-examinations will happen out of court, uh, and then we go to court and make arguments.